two things that I want to bring to light are two words that have been in my spirit all night. And one is dependable. Dependable. If you say to someone if something is dependable, you approve of them because you feel that they can be sure that they will always act consistently or sensibly or do what you need them to do. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand, but who in here are dependable? I mean, straight up dependable. I mean, if I told you I was going to be to your house to pick you up, see, this is how we work back in the day. We told them we were going to be there at 730. We was out there blowing about 725. Okay, we blow the horn a couple times. They didn't come out, we out. <laughs> That's how it was back in the day. Now y'all meander and wait all day, you know, and get on the phone and start texting and tweet, and you give them another 10 minutes, we left. Who's dependable? Like if you had to get your school assignments done on time, and at the end, are you dependable? If you had to practice consistently on a daily basis at a certain level of expectation, are you dependable? Who's dependable as a friend? Who's dependable as a son? Who's dependable as, as a sibling? Who's dependable as a coach? Who's dependable as a person? It's a guy that sits back there in that corner every day. You know, that real anonymous kind. It's Coach Kevin Mathis. I've been knowing him for how long? 25 years, he's dependable. Never once have I asked him to do something that he wasn't there on time and fulfilled the excitement. Never once has he asked me to be at his wedding or to be anywhere that I wasn't there on time, dependable. It's nothing that we've ever asked or expected of each other that we didn't fulfill that obligation because we are dependable. Are you dependable? The next word, reliable. Consistently good in quality or performance, able to be what? Trusted. Able to be what? Trusted. Who can be trusted? Coach Hart. Oh well, yeah. Can you take this for me? Yeah. This is your line of duty because I saw you going off yesterday for certain reasons with the linebacker last save and back back across the field that threw the whistle the same. So you know we talk about reliability, being reliable. Give me something that you think is reliable. Anybody? Parents, good, reliable. Anything else? Say again? Coaches. Anything else? One more. God. God. Listen to what y'all just said. Everything you named was animated, has some type of human form or characteristic. It wasn't mechanical. You see, reliability comes on the opposite side of I don't feel like it. Preach. You see, machines can break down. You may think they're reliable. But if they break down, they're not reliable. You gotta take them to a mechanic, they gotta get fixed. But the human heart, the person, the heart beats in here, everybody you name, it has to be on the other side of I don't feel like it. That's why we get up. Well, yesterday, what do we do, linebacker? Stay here almost all night, right? Because we had to get the shit right. You might want to go to sleep, but guess what? Your I didn't feel like it has nothing to do with you being reliable. <laughs> when it's fourth and one, when the championship, September the 2nd, are you gonna be reliable? Are you going to go to bed on curfew instead of trying to sneak out at night? Are you trustworthy? Do you put the main thing to be the main thing? That's what reliability is. That's what your family is going to depend on. That's what your teammates depend on. Hell, that's what Boulder, Colorado depend on. To when you don't feel like it, you get your job done and you're trustworthy. Be reliable today and forevermore and we'll be champions. <laughs> So when you look at the pass play and your receivers, do you depend on them or how they reliable? You want them to be what? Dependable and reliable. The offensive line, you want them to be what? Dependable and reliable. Our running backs, you want them to be dependable and reliable. Our linebackers, you want the defensive front to be dependable and reliable so that you can get your reads and get to where you need to get. Secondary, the same thing. We need to be able to depend on you and to rely on you that you're going to be able to do your job. When we get inside that 40 yard line, we what? We're going to come to you, right? We're going to come to you, right? What is my motto? And we, what you doing on the second row? That's your seat. Okay. Are you dependable or reliable? <laughs> Tell them, you don't what? I don't miss. You don't miss. So that means you're what? Reliable and dependable. And dependable. You got that? I want you all to have that swagger. When we have contained, we have a good, uh, a big problem with it, keeping contained. We have a good problem with you guys staying in your lanes. Are you going to be dependable or reliable? Because the more you're going to be that, the more we can trust you, 
and the more we can trust you, the more we're going to be successful, the more we're successful, we're going to win. The more we win, the more y'all go to the next level. Have you ever noticed the team, the most winning team, the kids go to the next level? <laughs> Have y'all noticed that? That's what happens. So if you want to go and take the homies with you, because that's what y'all want to do, let's win. And it starts when? And it starts when? And it starts when? Let's do it, Trevor.